Hey, what's up? It's Dan from Homebrew Tax, and today I'll be giving you a review on the Insignia iPod Dock um, slash radio. So, on the top here, you have your standard iPod connector, um, the tuning button, which will allow you to, you know, tune the wired radio antenna that comes with it. Um, you got power, which turns on your iPod, it's plugged in timer set, hour, minute, um, the skip back, skip forward, and the play pause button. There's also a snooze button, pretty big for the on the front, and alarm set, alarm off, sleep, and clock set. Down here on the clock is basically a LED, bright LED, blue backlit LCD that shows you all your buttons, like iPod power and play pause and stuff like that. Um, it shows both alarms. If you can set, um, I don't know if you'd see that, but there is um, a tuning switch for if you want it to um, AM, FM, or iPod. And then there's also a buzzer or iPod for the alarm. So um, on the other side here, you have. A volume knob, um, yeah, but you get good, decent quality um, sound out of there from each thing. Okay, let's flip it over. Um, on the bottom, you have a backup battery, which is really cool. You put your um, AAA batteries in there, and it allow you to, like, if you unplug it, it won't lose time. Uh, that is a video out jack. Um, haven't really tested it, but pretty sure it works. Um, the white is audio in, the black is audio out, and there's also a dimmer switch in there for if the LCD is too bright. I like to keep it down low, though, because it's actually really bright when it's turned at you. So, you're probably all wondering if the dock charges your iPod Touch or your iPhone. Well, we're about to figure this out. No. It is not charging my iPod battery there. So, you're probably going to need to buy a converter. And I will put a link to where you can get converters from the this thing so it'll charge your iPhone or iPod. So, um, thanks for watching this review, and rate and subscribe.